I'm David Gafford here with the Barbecue Lab, and a lot of you have been asking for more videos on what we've been building out here in our outdoor kitchen. Well, today we're going to do a deep dive review of the pellet grill that we decided to build into our outdoor kitchen. It's the Memphis Pro from Memphis Wood Fire Grills, and we've got it all coming up. <laughs> Like so many people, we've all been taking on quarantine projects, and our quarantine project was to take our old 10 by 14 patio that had a crack down the middle and go ahead and demolish that and build a full outdoor kitchen here in the backyard. Well, we've decided to do the entire outdoor kitchen DIY style. So if you wanna see more about that outdoor kitchen, we've got a whole fleet of videos that are coming here in the coming weeks and months. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Now, for a little bit of product information, Memphis Wood Fire Grills has been around since 2009 and they're based out of Bloomington, Minnesota, which is actually really close to the Mall of America. Now we knew that we wanted a pellet smoker out here in the kitchen and we knew that we wanted it to be stainless steel and we'd like Wi-Fi capability and we wanted it to be able to grill and smoke. So we chose the Memphis Pro and this is a grill with a cooking surface of 574 square inches or 848 square inches if you get the optional upper grates. This unit has a temperature range of 180 degrees on the low end all the way up to 650 degrees on the high end. Now the dimensions of this unit is 28 inches high by 28 inches wide by 29 inches deep and it weighs in right around 213 pounds. Now before you cook with any pellet grill, it's best practice to go ahead and season the grill and Memphis recommends that you run the grill at 450 degrees for 20 minutes to bake off any of the manufacturing oils. Now one of the reasons that we chose the Memphis Pro is because this grill is both a grill and a smoker. Now we talked about the low being 180 degrees and that the high is 650 degrees, but really this is actually, actually equally a smoker and a grill. There's a removable diverter plate that's actually in the bottom of the grill that allows you to go from smoke mode to sear mode. Now the sear plate is actually perforated and gives you a lot of different holes for the flame to rise through so you can actually get direct sear on whatever it is that you're grilling. Now I have to say, I really like this system and that's one of the things that sold me on this unit. It gives me the ability to sear hot and fast and also cook low and slow. We've had four months of testing, and we want to go ahead and begin by talking about some of the things that we've grilled on the Memphis Pro. Mom was having a birthday, and so she and Dad came over, and we decided to do filet mignon for her birthday with a reverse sear method, where we cooked the steaks at about 180 degrees on the Memphis until it hit about 110 internal. Then we cranked that grill up to 650 and decided to sear it over the sear plate, and I got to tell you, they were absolutely delicious. It took about 10 minutes to get all the way up to 650 degrees from that 180 that we were running earlier, but I got to tell you, it was fantastic being able to do low and slow and hot and fast on one grill. That same evening, we went ahead and put on some Argentinian shrimp skewers, and despite those bamboo skewers being soaked in water for three hours ahead of time, the butter glaze that we were putting on top actually caused a flare up and it actually burnt all the way through those skewers. So we ended up with, instead of long skewers, we had skewers in pieces. But that just speaks to how powerful this grill is when it actually gets up to high grilling temperature. Next, we tried pizza on the grill. Now, we actually lived in Detroit for about three and a half years, and we fell in love with the Detroit style of pizza. Now, that's a rectangular pizza in a pan, almost a little bit like deep dish, but that Detroit style cooks at about 525 degrees, and we went ahead and put a Detroit style pizza on the Memphis and cooked it for about 15 minutes, and it came out incredible. I gotta tell you, the cheese that melted and stuck to the side of the pan was crispy and delicious, just like we were sitting at Buddy's Pizza downtown Detroit on Six Mile. 
Now, the Memphis Grill isn't just a grill, it's also a fantastic smoker. Now, here are some of the things that we like to do when we were smoking with the Memphis. Next, we tried some marinated chicken drumsticks, and we just put the Memphis on 350 degrees, and we cooked the drumsticks till they hit about 165 or 170, and that's a future recipe video that we're going to be making of this marinade. So if you want to learn more about this marinade, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on this one. But that's a marinade we love to make, and those chicken drumsticks were fantastic. We even had some left over, and we trimmed that meat off the bone, put it in the fridge, and we made some incredible chicken quesadillas with that smoked chicken drumstick meat. It was incredible. Now a staple that we make on every grill that we review pretty much is a beef chuck roast that will smoke and then braise. Now we'll smoke it at 275 degrees and we'll put a Mexican rub recipe on the outside that we really like. After four hours in the smoke we went ahead and put it in a braising liquid in our Dutch oven and that thing is incredible. It falls apart, it makes an incredible burrito or we like to make it in, into burrito bowls chipotle style and this, this put a really great smoke ring on that chuck roast. Now, like the chuck roast, we love doing pork shoulders as well. And pork shoulder, if you've never tried it, that is a great starter piece of meat. All you have to do is put a great rub on the outside, set your smoker to 275 degrees, let it go for like five hours, then wrap it until it hits an internal temperature of somewhere in the low 200s, 203, 205 degrees, and it's done. We also have tried some other things that are traditionally done in the oven, but we love to make them on the smoker. One of those is chicken enchiladas. For chicken enchiladas, you make them just like you do any other chicken enchilada recipe, except instead of putting them in the oven to melt things, you stick them in the smoker to melt things. And in addition to melting the cheese, you're adding that smoke flavor to the enchiladas. The Memphis performed great when we made those on this. For the big football game that we had just a little while back, we had a friend of ours who asked if he could smoke some wings before their party over here on the grill. He brought over two bags of chicken wings and we actually filled one half with lemon pepper and the other half with barbecue rub wings. We put the grill at about 250 degrees and they came out spectacular after about 90 to 120 minutes. Now when it comes to storing this grill or protecting this grill once you have it installed, there is an optional cover that's available for this. But here's the thing, this is 304 stainless steel. And so I have to admit, I really don't worry about it. The last stainless steel grill that we had was a gas grill, and it lasted us for 15 years, and the outside still looked like the day we bought it. So I don't worry about this grill, but if you're worried about maybe installing it and having it protected, there is an optional cover. With each grill review that we do, we like to cover some of the things that are our favorite things about the grill, and also some of the things that are opportunities for improvement. Now with this unit, one of the things that we love is the access to direct flame grilling. Most of the pellet grills that we actually review around here are more pellet smokers than they are pellet grills. One of the things I love about the Memphis is it is a pellet grill as well. When you actually take that flame insert and you put it in there, you're getting flames rising through the insert to get right to your food. And I love that this is a grill and a smoker both in one. So it's really a true hybrid and I love the range of this grill. Now also, I really love that this is a Wi-Fi grill. It's connected to the cloud, which means I can get the grill temp and the meat temp when I'm on the road. Now I could do that through the mobile app, and the app gives me so many choices of what I want to be able to do. I can look at the temperature, I can look at the probe settings, I can change alarms, I can shut the grill down. There's all kinds of things I can do with the app, but what I love most is that I can keep smoking and get stuff done. I can run to the hardware store. I can actually go out and take the kids to a sporting event. And all the while, I know what's happening right on the app that's on my phone. It's fantastic. Another thing I really like is that the Memphis has a full coverage lid. That means the lid covers all the way around the side and it's also double walled. So it's really taking out any of the wind interference that you're gonna get when the temperatures are colder. It's also gonna help the chamber stay more stable in those colder temperatures. Now we're based here in the Midwest, so we get freezing temperatures for a good four or five months out of the year. And this really helps us to be able to keep our pellet usage down. I also really like the gasket seal that you can find all the way around the lid. It's an oven grade gasket seal. And I mean, you might have seen those felt gaskets that you can see on the Big Green Eggs and the Kamado Joes. Those are felt gaskets. This is an oven gasket. I mean, so it's really what you'd expect to see on your oven to keep things in. And I love that this is built with that all the way around the lid opening on this grill. There's also the easy ash clean out. There's grease drawers on the bottom filled with disposable aluminum liners, and cleanup is just super simple. I mean, you pull out the drawer, you change the foil liners, and you keep cooking. 
It's simple. There's also the great tool, and the great tool is a multifunctional tool that when you see it for the first time, you have to wonder what in the world is this thing. But the thing that's great about it is that it allows you to move grates around without touching them. Uh, when your grates are dirty, when they're hot, when they're slippery, the tool makes it easy to change things out. You can actually take out the diffuser plate, put in the flame insert. It's actually a really great tool to be able to work with this grill and stay hands off while you're cooking. Memphis also has a couple of fans built into the bottom of the grill to make sure that this grill is convection in the way that it cooks. So when you're seeing convection cooking, you're actually evenly distributing the heat throughout the cooking chamber of the grill to make sure that you're eliminating hot spots around the unit. There's also the meat probes that come with the Memphis Pro. Now, I like to call these the armored meat probes because they are the absolute Cadillac of meat probes that you're gonna find in any grill in the industry right now. Now, they're, the Cadillac, if that Cadillac was built like an M1 Abrams tank, because these things are incredibly beefy. They are actually the most protected probe wires I've found in any grill on the market. Now, a special thing that's built for those probe cables is the probe port that's built into the side of the grill. That probe port allows you to not have to kink the wires if you have to put them through the lid as opposed to sticking them through that probe port to get them into your meat. And I love the probe port on this. If you've ever had a grill that doesn't have one, it is a godsend when you actually get to cook with one that does. Now this one's great because you can fit more than one probe through, even with those big armored probes, and it's great. Now another thing is the grates are incredibly heavy duty. These are some thick round bar grates and they are heavy. If you haven't ever held one, they're some of the heaviest grates I've found on a smoker of this size and it really speaks to the quality of this grill. Another thing I really like is the dual pellet chamber. You can put up to 18 pounds of pellets in the back of this grill. Now, and it comes with two chambers, so it's really nine pounds per side. Well, it's a great way to be able to mix and match different pellets. If I want the flavor of oak on one side and I want the great deep smoke ring of cherry on the other, I can put half and half. If it doesn't really matter, I'm cooking with a competition blend, I can fill both with the same, but it's a nice addition to be able to give you the ability to mix pellets when you're doing a cook. Another thing is the smoke mode. Did anything that's set below 295 degrees on this cooker is automatically set into smoke mode. That means that the controller is going to maximize smoke while it's trying to keep your temperature. And other manufacturers might actually have a smoke button that you can push or a super smoke button or something. But I like the fact that Memphis has actually just built this grill to give you as much smoke as possible when you're, when you're cooking at smoking temperatures. So now let's cover a couple opportunities that we see that we can make to improve this grill. Now that first opportunity would be there's a rear hopper on this grill and the rear hopper is a little bit hard for me to get to from the front. Now Memphis has released a Beale Street grill where the hopper is actually right on the front and it doubles as a shelf for the unit. But this one's on the rear and what I find is the best way for me to put pellets in is to go around the kitchen and put the pellets in from the back. Now if I was building this grill into a kitchen that was up against the wall of the house, it might be a little difficult to get pellets in and I wouldn't be able to do it by the bag. I'd probably need to do it more by scooping it out of, with, with a cup or something. But that's one opportunity that if I could find an easier way to get pellets in from the front, that would be great. Another opportunity for improvement would be that there's not really a pellet dump or a way to change out the pellets that are in this unit. So if I'm cooking with all fruit woods and I wanna go ahead and move to a brisket and I don't want fruit woods, the only way to really clean out the pellets on this unit is to take a cup and pull them out that way or to vacuum them out and recycle them that way as well. So that would be another opportunity for improvement would be to make an easy way for the pellets to dump. But it's really hard to get that when you have a built-in unit that's built at cabinet level. So we understand why it's not in here, but that would be a great thing to figure out uh, if someone could make that happen. Now here's some great tips for using this grill. Now when they say you have to have access to the rear panel, don't take that for granted because you need to have access to the rear panel once you've built this grill in. If you ever need to reset the Wi-Fi or if you ever need to look at changing a cable on the controller or if you need to tighten the antenna down or if you need to look at any of that kind of stuff, you have to be able to take the back panel off of the grill. So whenever you're building a countertop or something like that, Make sure you build enough room to be able to get the back panel off and up and out with some room to spare so you can actually get your head back there and see what you're doing. 
Another thing that I want to make sure I mention is that the multi-tool that you have for moving the cooking grates around and those types of things, it's also made to clean this grill. So you can use it to clean the grates, you can use it to clean between the grates, you can use it to clean out the burn pot, scraping the flavorizer, it's even got a bottle opener on it. It's really a fantastic multi-tool and I would encourage you to read the literature to find out all of the different things that it will do for you. Now another thing to point out is that the controller is actually separate from this grill. So the control panel is not built into the grill itself. It's actually a separate unit that you can be able to put in the top of a drawer combo or install it just in the front of your kitchen countertop. But that separate unit gives you more uh, control over how you're going to have your grill built into your outdoor kitchen. So the question is, what do we think overall of the Memphis Pro from Memphis Wood Fired Grills? Well, when it comes to the Memphis Pro, it is easily the best pellet grill that I've had the privilege to cook on. From classic low and slow barbecue meats to pizzas and enchiladas, baking bread, grilling steaks, and everything in between, it's the one grill that's irreplaceable in our outdoor kitchen. If the Memphis Pro is in your budget for your outdoor space, just get it. You will not regret it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Memphis Pro, you can go ahead and check us out over on our website at thebarbecuelab.com. We have more information than we can even cover in this video there in the website article, and we'd love to have you check us out. Now, if you're on Instagram, we'd love to have you come over and follow us there. We have information on what's coming up on the channel, behind the scenes content. We also post sales whenever we're aware of them in the barbecue world. So follow us over on Instagram and we will keep the sales behind the scenes, what's coming in your news feed so you don't miss out on anything. Now, if you're thinking about making a purchase of the Memphis Grill or anything barbecue related, we have links in the description below of all the gear that we use here at the Barbecue Lab, what we think is some of the absolute best. And if you click those links, it doesn't cost you any more than normal, but it just supports our channel and helps us keep the videos coming. Now, we'd love it if you consider clicking those links and helping us continue to make videos for you, because that's why we do this. We want to see you become a better backyard cook and delight your friends and neighbors with everything that you do. So, I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. I want to say thanks so much for joining us, and I hope to see you next time right here on the channel. Now, that all happens because of the mobile app, which is the thing I'll talk about now, which I really like, is the mobile app. <laughs> Do you see what I have to deal with back here? <laughs> Camera person laughing at me? And if you'd like to be able to learn more, go there where we have a deeper dive into this whole entire review that we just videotaped. Videotaped? What am I, 90? <laughs>